Hey guys, I'm Dustin with JP and I'm in Kansas at Area 3 with the newest JP sponsored shooter, Jesse Misko. Yeah. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. So we said his last name slow because I've been saying it wrong all day <laughs> and I should. Anyways, um, okay, so we this is literally the first time we've really talked. Yep. Um, so I have a lot of questions because sure. you didn't join the team like most people did. Mm. So my first question is you joined the team because John Paul personally handpicked you. Yep. That hasn't happened in years. Yeah, it was really just out of the blue. Uh, last year at one of our Wisconsin Colfax matches, since John's out of Minnesota, he joined on and luckily enough, he just spotted with me and honestly, the rest is history from there. Next thing you know, you got a JP, yep. uh, GMR 15, yep. and you're running a, what, what are you running on the 22? JP 22. Is that JP 15 or? Uh, it's just top I, target only. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So JP 15, 22. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. So I, I mean, uh, John Paul, uh, his his sons Jesse Gangle has talked to me mm -hmm. about you and everything. So I was excited to see you. We got to watch you shoot. Yeah. Um, and it, it's been cool to watch. So now that you know, now we got that out of the way that John Paul picked you. Let's take a step back. Sure. And when did you start? So I started shooting just over two years ago. Like full on bought my own gun just because I turned 21. Really, I bought a Mark IV, Ruger Mark IV, just out of the blue. And I like to have things that are useful. Mm -hmm. So I looked around and I found practice score and I found a match right in Colfax because going to UW Stout in Wisconsin, Menominee, Wisconsin. And so over the summers, I just hopped on a match and I had fun with this. So I just kept with it. Nice. Right, so we're, you're on year two now? So Wait. this will be my third year. This is yeah. your, okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, and, you know, watching some of your runs, uh, I mean, you're, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. You're, you're slowly climbing up the ranks and, and making your way that way, huh? Yep. Good yeah, top. so for right now, I've definitely got the speed down. I just need to smooth out the consistency, <laughs> right. kind of, you know, work at those fundamentals, because that's really what I need to work on. All right. So out of the uh, JP-15, which is in the 22, or your mm -hmm. GMR-15, which one's your favorite rifle? Oh. You should, I can't believe you even have to think about it. It should be the GMR 15, guys. Everybody watching should know this should be the GMR 15. Yeah, I mean, I've got a nice, the uh, copper and green paint job on it. That thing is smooth. That was the first JP I had last year and it ran like a dream. Took it out to Worlds, had a good time there. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's my favorite. <laughs> but you had to act like you care about the 22? Well, of course. Well, there you go. You know, ammo's getting a little harder to find. So I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, so I gotta, I gotta feed them both now. Ammo, ba ammo wise, the 22, yep. I guess, could be your favorite. Yes. I, I can see that for sure. All right, so, I mean, you it seems like you've just really dove into shooting, and, and yes. there's a lot of us that have, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I started shooting 2012, and now I'm, you know, I'm all over the place, whether yep. I'm shooting a match or filming a match. Uh, I'm just all over, and it seems like you've just kind of dove in and done I, the same yes. thing. Yeah, I have. Uh, starting off the first year, I had both a rifle and a pistol and rimfire. I shot irons, I did horribly at it, but I had fun. You know, the group of people I was with were amazing. So I then stepped it up a notch and went optics the next year, and that's when things just really took off. On the PCC within, I think, two months. Okay. After shooting PCCO, first time shooting PCC and PCCO. So, yeah. Uh, just this summer, I've. Top 20 of uh, rimfire pistol and rimfire rifle open. So this year has been a lot better. And it's only been, I've only been shooting this year for about a month. Wisconsin gets cold. Yeah. There's, so you can't really shoot much. It, it's literally next door to Minnesota yeah. and it's dry fire. So let, let's go there. What do you do to train with the harsh weather? What are you doing to train? So it's a lot of dry fire in. January, February, March, when it's, you know, probably 20 below, uh, a lot of dry fire. A lot of it's also mental. Mm -hmm. The mental game is huge in this sport and just reading books, uh, watching videos of people. Okay. Just trying to explain how you can mentally prepare for a sport. I think that's honestly helped help me more than the dry fire and live fire. It's just having the mental game to shoot well. I agree. So yeah, I think no matter what, um, discipline you are shooting the mental game plays into that it, it is huge. a big aspect yep. 
So this one, it seems like to me, you know, like in three gun, I have a bad run. I, I could have up to an hour to two hours before I shoot again. Yep. Um, so I have some time to walk through that whole run, think of what I, I did wrong, what I did great, and how to fix that. You know, here you're shooting five strings. If you have a bad string yep. and it's your first string, how do you get past that? How do you move on? Uh, just forget it. You know, you still, in Steel Challenge, you get that one that you can just kind of throw it away. Yeah. So just start off like it's new. Just sit there, breathe in for a couple seconds, and then get right back on target again. Okay. Uh, you have to kind of, you don't want to think about the outcome at all. You never want to think about how you're going to do at the end of the day, no matter how good or bad you're going to do. Because if you're doing good, and you start thinking about the outcome, mm -hmm. you're going to lose your process. Right. And you just want to focus on that process. So on that second string, just follow my process, like my mental game. Mm -hmm. Just get right back at it. So just one hundred percent stick to the yep. stick to the game plan. I, I whatever happens, happens. Yep, I trust myself that I can keep shooting, and so if I trust myself to do that, it'll get done. That's awesome. I mean, you know, it, it is funny because I mean, so many people look into dry fire, and they always say uh, practice makes perfect. Yep. When in all reality, if you do your dry fire wrong for a month without going yes. to do some live fire to validate that, yep, and you're when you actually get out to do live fire it could be horrible yeah so perfect practice makes perfect mm -hmm. uh staying strong on the mental game what do you do as uh for like diet wise when you're at these matches diet wise it's usually uh i like a lower breakfast like a banana maybe a half a waffle mm -hmm. nothing too big but then as the match goes out maybe have a couple meat sticks definitely drink water if you go two stages without water you already you're already gonna hurt yourself so what about um okay so we know you're drinking water you your coffee drinks. i mean you see so many people especially kids are running around with monster energy yep. none of that i can't do that because once you're right there you want to be smooth you can't be like yep so i like to coffee kind of sends me over the deep end. So I like to be smooth and just calm and collected. I don't need anything in my system but whacking out. Um, so in Steel Challenge, you can shoot multiple guns. I don't yep. even know how many disciplines you can actually shoot in Steel Challenge. 13. Okay. 13. Um, now today is our last day. You're about to go to award ceremony. Yep. You ended with JP Optics, like or well, Rimfire Optics yep. and PCC, PCC Optics. Optics. Okay. Did you choose those to be on the last day for a reason, or is that just kind of how it, it, it drew, you know, how it came out? So no, that's actually something I've just learned is that I need to by day three. You're tired. You don't really want to be here as much. So I learned that I need to move those higher end guns, the more I, the ones I prefer earlier. And so I think on a three flight day or on a three flight thing on Saturday, two flights, shoot the optics guns and second flight during the afternoon because it was quite cold yesterday. All right, so break down a flight for everybody watching at home doesn't know what a flight is because yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. So a flight is when you have a group of people squatted together and uh, you shoot all eight stages. That's okay. one flight. And so there's two flights in a day, one oh. in the morning, one in the afternoon. Okay, see, I looked at that as a match. So you shot one match in the morning, okay. and that was yep. with your rim, uh, rimfire optics. Yep. And then that afternoon, in my head, the way it works, you're Got shooting it. your second match. Exactly. But you, call, you guys call yeah, them flights. Yeah, we call them flights. Okay, cool. There we go. We learned something. <laughs> All right, so you, you're getting into breaking your flights down and choosing which yep. ones you want to run. Yeah, so PCC optics and rimfire rifle optics, I definitely want to put in the Saturday afternoon flight just because... I've then had the chance to shoot them in the morning, but I'm not completely worn out Got it. come Sunday. Yeah, okay. So that's why I yep. choose them. Yeah. No, that, that's interesting. I was just curious how that works. Yeah. I mean, you can shoot, as you said, 13 guns. And yeah. That's, that's absolutely crazy. Yeah, I'm still working on which guns to shoot together, like PCC optics and rimfire rifle optics. Yeah. It's a little tougher because the re recoil is different. However, with the new JP5, it might, it's going to uh, close that gap a lot more. So, so you might be shooting the same gun. So it's going to bring in the JP5. Yep. So I was trying to avoid it, but he just shot the JP5 for the very first time. Yep. Um, we didn't see the beetle and all that, but what, what are your thoughts on the JP5? And I don't want to compare the GMR15 to the JP5 because they're, yep. they're completely no, different they're animals, different. right? Like, yeah. It is the way it is, and you're going to be looking at a financial difference as well. But your first shots out of the JP5, give me your first things that ran through your head. You're like the first thoughts. Uh, kind of to bring around 
the JP22. Not much difference. Right? Not much difference right. at all. Dude, the first time I shot it, I, they were videotaping me, so I like, kept my cool, and I was like, let's go, here you go. Right? And then in the back of my head, I'm like, dude, that was like shooting a 22. Yep. 100% like shooting a 22. So, all right, so now that you compared it to a 22, um, this past year at Worlds, Grant broke the world record in 22. I mean, he, he killed short, right? What was it? Uh, 53, just under 50. 53. And then PCC was beat. The world record was beat this year, and it was like a 59. Yeah, by Kenny Nagata. Yeah, it was yep. like 59 or something yeah. like that, right? Um, and, I mean, and he had Grant, and he had JP. Um, Chris Barrett right there. They were, I mean, they were all close. Yeah. So my my question for everybody is, is now that the JP5 is here, in my opinion, it will break the world record at Worlds next year. Oh, no doubt. Okay. So it's going to do that. But can it get down to where Grant broke the Rimfire world record if it shoots like a 22? You know, Grant, he's pushing the limit. He is. And I think he can push the limit a lot more. And so with that said, I'm just really going to climb deep when someone special specializes in it. Yeah. It's going to be right with it. 55, probably within the next two years, 49. And I've, I've had people texting me and ask me, like, is the JP5 really that special? 100%. Yes, it is. It is a game changer whether yep. you're shooting PCC and USPSA yep. or you're shooting PCC irons or PCC optics. It's still a challenge. Yeah. It is 100% a game changer. Yeah, think about USPSA too, man. That's for those longer shots yeah. and, or even three gun. Yeah. That's really going to change it for three gun too. Yeah, I forget that it belongs or that they put it in three gun. Yeah. It's not three gun. Mm -hmm. It's two by four. Two by four. But yeah, you're right. It, it's going to change that too. But I think it's place is still challenge, and I think that's where it's really going to thrive. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Awesome. All right, we're going to get off the JP5 because we want to talk about you. Yeah. Um, so what's next for you? Like what, you know, in, in two and a half years, roughly, you've pushed the bar already for... Yep. What's your game plan? What's your future look like? Let's, let's you know, where you want to be at for Worlds next year. Yeah, so to kind of back up, I, this past winter, I went to school full time. I graduated from college. I worked full time during that time. I'm also a match director at the Colfax Sportsman's Club. So I run all the SEAL Challenge matches there. So with all that, I kind of, I had to lean back just a little. Oh, but now come summer, I can not school. I can still go to work. I love work. I work for Precision Pipe and they're nice. <laughs> uh, but uh, like it. Yep. So this summer, I really just need to buckle down and kind of get at it. I'm okay. my goal, top 20 was a goal, but I've kind of blown that out of the water. It was a little too easy at the time for me. So sub 60 second runs are definitely consistent. Sub 60 runs are definitely gonna, that's something I can th strive for yep. in the next few years. Okay. Cause I'm only 23. I've got, you know, I, I didn't start shooting when I was 12 or something. Right. So I've got a- um, Some work. I played, work to do, I, yeah, but... I played baseball my life, so I kind of know how sports okay. run. So I just need a, cause I don't have a coach. Yeah. My parents live three hours away from me. So I'm really on my own. Okay. And it's a lot different from other kids. Well, yeah, parents. yeah, you have John Paul well, who of course. handpicked you. Do you have his cell phone number? Yeah. What well, is that? I think he just emailed me a couple of nights ago. About See, uh, steel time I, stuff. I've, I've been working at JP for years and I hung out with John, John Paul and I don't have a cell phone number. Actually, I do have a cell phone number, uh, but he doesn't just email me out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. He, I, he had a valid reason. Okay, but I think you've got good if you, if you, I mean, John Paul, I mean, when you break everything down, John Paul's a phenomenal shooter in everything yep. he does. He was a born shooter and he has the same mentality that you're mm -hmm. talking about. And when you were just talking about like having school and what you want to do and hitting sub 60, that is all about mentality. Um, so yeah, it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. What else do you want to throw out there to everybody? I mean, new shooter, here's your chance to let everybody know who you are and oh, what you're going to be doing. Uh, Justin Misko from Colfax, Wisconsin. Come out to the Colfax Sportsman's Club. We run uh, weekly matches, monthly matches. Uh, yeah, it's a great range, all these stages. Can't beat that. Not many run the all age stages. So if, if anybody just wants to reach out to you and, and talk to you, are you willing to yes, help of like, the newer generation get in yeah. there? Right. Where, where can my, they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram as Jesse underscore Misko, J E S S E underscore M I S C O. That's about. That's pretty much where I live. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Dustin with JP, here with newest JP shooter, Jesse Nisco. 
Uh, dude, it was a pleasure yeah, meeting you. I had fun watching you shoot. Yeah. I'm excited to see where you go in the sport. Thank you. Um, I love the confidence and the mentality that you have going. And I think with having John Paul there to, for you to yep. email out or send a text to, I yeah. think you're going to do great. Awesome. Thanks, awesome. Austin. Yeah. All right. Hey, we see you all at the range.